Okay, so in the previous video we talked about um, measuring the distribution of organisms by doing random sampling with um, quadrats. Here we're going to talk about something a little bit different and they are called transects. Now a transect is when you use a measuring tape and you set up a measuring tape in a line. So for example, if this is the sea and this is the beach, we might set up our transect from this edge of the sea where it meets the beach all the way up the shoreline. And this would be our transect line, which essentially is just a measuring tape. And we would then um, sample in regular intervals along that transit line. So it could be every two meters, for example. That we sample along that line. So this is where people get confused because with transects we use quadrats again um, a lot of the time, not always. Um, but sometimes we use quadrats and people get confused because they think quadrats are related to the other technique only. They're not, they can be used um, in this technique as well. So what you do is you'd start at um, zero here. You could place your quadrat down, count the number of organisms in that sample, and then you'd walk two meters, place your quadrat down, count the number of organisms there, Again, walk to four meters, count the organisms there, and so on and so on. So you're getting a pattern up the beach of how many organisms. You might look at something like limpets or something and look at the distribution of limpets along the shoreline. Similarly, you can do a vertical transect um, where you perhaps might do a transect up a tree, starting from the bottom here and going um, all the way up to the top or top to the bottom, whatever you're looking at. And you could look at, for example, lichen distribution along the tree, seeing where it was most distributed. Again, similar format. At certain distances, you would either put your quadrat down or use a smaller um, quadrat or select sampling area, count the number of organisms there. For example, if you're looking at lichen and then go to the next stop, count the number of organisms, the next stop, and so on, to get a distribution um, along a certain distance. A fine example, example that you could use a transect on is um, perhaps if you were looking at a wall, you could either do the transect along or up the wall. If there was a plant growing on there, for example, you might want to look at leaf size. So if there's a big plant growing on here, you might want to just do a vertical transect from the bottom to the top and at regular intervals um, measure the leaf size here, for example, then here, then here, and look at the average leaf size as you go up or down the wall. Or you could look at average leaf size in relation to aspects, so which direction it's facing, or um, shade or something like that. So different to the random sampling, these are called transects. So they can be vertical or horizontal, they, they're used to measure loads of different things, um, but the main things are that you lay out your transect, which will be just a piece of measuring tape, and then at regular intervals, so that means regular gaps between your measurements, um, take your samples. I'll write that very briefly because it depends on what you're doing. It could be, like I said, measuring leaf size or it could be counting the number of organisms in that patch. And be prepared to um, write a method question on this or explain how you might use a transect to have a look at the distributions of organisms in different contexts. So if you found this video useful, then please press the like button below and feel free to subscribe.